everyone and welcome to another MJ Hobby Corner subscriber voted game. I'm Julie, MJ's trusty sidekick, and today we bring you In Her Majesty's Name. This is a new one that I have never played before. I believe MJ has played it maybe once. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. I am playing the Servants of Ra, and MJ is playing Prussians. And we are going to battle it out. So stick around. It should be a lot of fun. Grab a drink. Grab a snack. Whatever you'd like. I'm going to grab some dice because the time has come to let it roll. Okay, and here is our board. A nice desert uh, board with a little bit of an archaeological dig site in the center. And we are playing uh, Catch the Pigeon. Ooh. Catch right, the pigeon, and pigeon. we also have a couple of objectives uh, that we will uh, be able to uh, take, hopefully. Mm -hmm. So any figure that comes uh, base to base with an objective can pick it up and then take it back to their deployment zone. Uh, they can exit the board if they wish or hold it until if they have it at the end of the game, then the uh, marker is theirs, okay? And that's some kind of treasure, each objective marker is worth 10 points. Uh, we have uh, one objective marker here, mm -hmm. one there, and we have one on the table, which is the papyrus. Now, the main objective of the game, however, what we really want to do is capture the pigeon. There is a messenger pigeon in that flock of birds, and that messenger pigeon will be moving uh, randomly every turn. Mm -hmm. uh, if it happens to move out of the board throughout any edge, we both lose. Whoever uh, comes in base-to-base -base contact with the pigeon can capture it and claim it and the game is over. Or you can shoot the pigeon and then <laughs> capture it once it's down on the okay. ground. Okay, so uh, whoever <laughs> captures the pigeon is the winner. Don't shoot the messenger. Yeah. Now, if worse comes to worse, we are going to cap it, cap the game. Uh, but if, if nobody has scored with the pigeons, then we will look at how many objectives we have, how many figures we've killed, and then determine a winner that way. Okay, so uh, that's it. Main objective, capture the pigeon. The Servants of Ra represented here mm -hmm. by Julie. These are my two Nubian guard. Nubian guard, okay. I have um, two cultists here. Two cultists and... They have pistols, it looks like. Um, yes. One has a pil pistol and one has um, Swords, a sword. A cofish yes. sword. Okay. Then I've got my sphinx. Uh-huh. My leader. Okay, and that Saraya. is Saraya. Uh-huh. And then I have two more cultists. Okay. And uh, one has a pistol and one has uh, a club. Yep. And then my mummy. And a mummy, an ancient mummy priest. Yes, sir. Which is now serving this uh cult here okay very good so mummy priest has a power right yeah and priest so does, does power and so does my leader soraya okay yeah. all right very good well now moving on to the uh servants of thule the society of thule society of thule are the prussians we have my captain here capitan we have a walker heavy walker and we have three Jagers. I have a very small warband because my walker invested a lot of points in that walker. It is uh, heavily armored and has a uh, machine gun associated with it. And uh, to make my Jagers, I used Imperial Guard and I just gave them big mustaches and I sculpted a helmet on them. There's the nice big mustache, a helmet on them, and a cape. And there we go, we have Prussian Jaegers. Prussians have a very cool rule, and that is their, their Jaegers, which are infantry, uh, when they are killed, they turn into a zombie. And uh, Todd Troopin is what it's called. And uh, there they are, I have those zombies to mark any time a Todd Troopin is formed, and that's thanks to a Revivifier equipment that they carry on their backs. All right, round one. We're going to be summarizing round one uh, just to get into position, and if anything exciting happens, uh, then we will show it. All right, round one. Let's do initiative. We, we each have a leadership of two, 
And uh, let's see who has the highest. Julie rolled first. A three plus two is five. And eight plus two is ten. All right, Society of Thule goes first. But first, we have to move the pigeon. It will move in a random direction. I'll just follow the point of the D10. And it moves 1D10 plus 1. Okay, so it's going to move that way. And it moves uh, 3, 4 inches. Okay, let's see. Pigeon has flown. <laughs> Houston, pigeon <laughs> has flown. <laughs> All right, so pigeon goes up here. That's not good. It's closer to her. Bloop. But first, a word from our pigeons. <laughs> but first, a word from our pigeons. <laughs> All right. Summarizing round one. Uh, my turn. The movement phase has been completed by my Society of Duel, the Prussians. All right. So my Jaegers have moved up. These two guys ran, so they are marked. They cannot do anything in the shooting phase. I have one guy that has a shot. He's going to try to fire at the penguins. At the penguins. At the pigeons. <laughs> Yes, ladies and gentlemen, they are now penguins. Now they're penguins. <laughs> okay. Ooh, I love it. Uh, Capitan has moved up here. However, he did not run. He just uh, climbed up. So he does have an action this shooting phase. He's really not going to do anything. And then we have my walker, uh, which moved over here. He's trying to go around and see if he can contest that objective. All right, shooting phase now. And I'm going to see if I can shoot the pigeons. Now, um, a Jaeger has fight uh, shooting value of plus two, it has a military rifle with plus three in addition to that, so that's plus five. All right. Now, the pigeons have a pluck of six. Ooh, all right. Okay, so let's see. Pluck is like a saving throw. So, yeah, okay. So, uh, pigeons, yeah, an armored pigeon. <laughs> so, I fought plus five. Right, so you just need a two. Basically, I six. rolled a six plus five. Yes, Eleven. that is a hit. hit yeah. Okay, uh, and now they need to roll a pluck, a pluck of six, eight. They eight. do it. They did it, little bastards. All right, yeah. All right, so my shot has failed. I did not. I managed to shoot the damn pigeon. So uh, there we go. He is now activated. And he can't really do anything. Ah, he has no targets in line, so he'll just stay there. And that pretty much ends my phase because there's no melee or anything else that I can do. All right, it now goes to Julie. We will summarize it. We'll be back in the summary. Okay. Servants of Ra, now go. By the way, we have to remember the pigeons move every turn. So that was turn one, which oh, so was my turn. Again? So they have to move again. Julie, okay. would you like to move it since no, it's your turn? Not really. Um, the that? direction of the ten-sided dice, which is that way. Eight inches. Eight plus one is nine. And approximately. Oh, God, Julie. They fly right in your That's direction. Not. Okay, so first correction of the game. Hopefully we don't have too many of these. <laughs> Uh, Any time a figure moves uh, more than three oh, inches, yes. um, it has a minus four to its own shooting. So when this Jaeger shot that pigeon, it should have had an additional right. minus four. Okay. But it doesn't matter because the pigeon sur uh, survived. Saved it anyway. Yeah, exactly. But that's that's an important consideration for firing. All right, uh, servants of Ra have moved up the board. Uh, we see a cultist right here. She ran. We see another cultist down here. Uh, it ran. Uh, Julie's Soraya, the leader, is right there. And then we have, uh, looks like two cultists moving up the board on this side. And we have the ancient mummy who has uh, claimed one of the objectives already. Uh, it is right there. And then... Julie, the Nubian guard, is going to try and shoot the pigeon to keep it in place so she can claim it next turn. So let's see if she does that now. We are now in the shooting phase for Servants of Ra. Each phase in this game is separate. Movement, shooting, and fighting. Okay, so what's going to happen is she's going to take a shot at the pigeon. Uh, pigeon becomes immobilized. She can then grab it. If she grabs the primary objective... She will have an advantage in the next game because it has intelligence 
the little pigeon has a message that provides her with intelligence for the next game. She also gets 10 points. So uh, once the pigeon is killed, then we fight for the secondary objectives here. And whoever gets the most points then wins the game. All right. So, uh, all right, let's see the shooting. Now, none of those Nubians have moved, so they get no movement penalties to their shooting. However, the pigeon did move. So, and it moved, uh, let's see, what has it moved? The minus two. It has moved at least three inches during its move in the last turn. So, uh, minus two to the shoot roll. My shotgun has a plus two. Uh -huh. uh, my shooting value is a two, so it's plus four. Plus four minus two is plus two. And a, a six, seven, eight. Okay, well, turn two sees the dead pigeon as uh -huh. Julie shoots it. It can it doesn't go anywhere now. It stays there and Julie can pick it up and pick up whatever intelligence the pigeon has tied around his feet. And now we go to turn two because there's no melee on any side. Right. And now let's roll four initiative. Turn two. Six. Uh, you have an eight all together. Mm -hmm. So you roll the six. What did I roll? A six. Oh. What is that? Another six. Eight. Yeah. And you a four. A okay, okay. This time, servants of Ra have mm -hmm. the initiative. And uh, turn one, movement phase for All Julie. Right, let's see. Okay, Sphinx ignores terrain and it's flying and it goes right to the middle objective, mm -hmm. ignoring my Jaegers because she is confident that she can <laughs> beat them with her wings or whatever. <laughs> All right, so that's her movement. And now uh, moving another figure. Yeah, then... Um... Let's yep. Get to the end of here. She, you can get to the end. Yep, and that's a normal move. Do you want to add three inches for the run? I think I do. Okay, and then she can't shoot or do anything Will else. I get to the thing. Uh, with three inches, I believe you can. Yes, you can. Okay. And there's no action or anything to pick it up. Right. So uh, as long as you're in base to base contact with it. Okay. All right. So those moved. Um. Julie's racking up those points. She ran. She ran, so yep, she can't do anything in following phases. Um, okay, so obviously you get the pigeon, mm -hmm. you get the intelligence, and now he's carrying the the intelligence. Right. We might want to mark him because if I kill him, he drops it. Mark it with yeah. what? Unless you want him to go out of the board and then he's safe with the well, intelligence. He might do that. Stargrave style. Right now, but he might do it. Okay. I, so this guy is just going to move up here. Yep. Okay. Okay, and so her cultist just moved here. Her leader, uh, Saraya, moved up here. Uh, and, and Okay. Right. And then you have that cultist and your mummy. And I'm just going to move him a couple inches. Okay. Up here. And my mummy. All right, and I'm going to have to mark everybody for shooting purposes so that we know who has minuses and but uh i'll will mark the other ones all right um now can i get him off the board with uh with the, with a run yeah well you, with but can i move him begin moving him off the board is that sure it? and i can go this way right you can what a power does he have oh okay so julie's mummy is gonna do a power to give her increased speed she rolls a pluck roll Five, I did a it. Five. Her pluck is what? Three? Yeah. So she's good. She can now move 12 inches. Off the board. And right off the board, securing that treasure. Thanks a lot. All right. <laughs> All right. Let me uh, mark some figures yeah. uh, with respect to their penalties. And then we're moving into Julie's shooting phase. So Julie's turn ends. Uh, no shooting for Julie. And I marked everyone that uh, has either penalties uh, because of movement or uh, because they moved completely and can't do anything else. Mm -hmm. So now we go to my movement phase. And let's see what I can do. Well, first things first. <laughs> she moved a full move, didn't she? Six inches. 
She moved six inches. Oh, 12 inches. 12 inches. Because she flies. Yeah, so that's a minus three uh, if I want to shoot her. Okay, they're not going to move this turn. They're going to stay there. And then I'm going to move my leader. And let me see if I can use my arc weapon next turn with the lightning. Cause a little bit of frying. But I have to check because arc weapon has uh, different rules. Now he did move over three inches. So he's going to have a minus four to shoot mm -hmm. next turn. Um, so that might not have been a good idea. <laughs> and then we're going to move my man over here. Move six inches. And he's like, hey, where's the treasure? <laughs> where's the mummy? Hey, where is everybody? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> 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 all right so he's gonna get a minus four i don't know what he's shooting at yeah, nothing apparently he got, late. he got in late to the party yeah he's late he's like oh shit okay. all right so uh guess the only shooting phase is here and here these guys did not move however her critter moved uh quite a few inches so mm -hmm. i'm still gonna get the minus three because of her movement so going with the first Jaeger. Oh, I could use focus fire. Hold on a minute. Hey, I'm going to do a volley fire choosing this individual in the middle. He's going to get plus one because of his friend. Plus one. However, Julie brought it up. Then yes, Julie, uh, he is going to get a minus one because she is uh, touching that terrain. And that's going to be terrain number one. Uh, that's the sort of scale that they use from one through three on the terrain table. So this is going to be terrain one. Terrain type 1 gives me a minus 1. So really, I'm only going to get a plus 1 because of that guy. So, moving on. Jaeger uh, is plus 2 a, a shooting value, plus 3 for the weapon. That is a total of plus 5. And then plus 1 because of the friend. Tough, so I get plus 2 pluck. Right. You get plus 2 to your roll because you're tough. Yes. Correct. So you really need a 3. Right? Right. Correct. So three pluck roll. Ten. Oh, so they went pow, pow and she took her wings and blocked herself. <laughs> and oh boy. All right. Next in the shooting line is Mr. A man over here, Capitan, with his arc pistol. Now arc pistols ignore armor. So I'll be hitting her on a seven regardless of her armor. Uh, and let's see what else. Also, when he fires it, he cannot shoot it next turn. Right. Uh, plus two shoot value, arc pistol plus one. So that is a total of plus three. And I got to hit a seven and a blast of lightning. Blah, blah. Eight. Eight plus All right, so three. My, my pluck would be who is that? That's my leader, right? Yeah, she has an three. insane pluck. Yeah, three. Yep. Um, I just want to make sure that there's nothing else. Oh, she did have... Oh, I forgot to include. That's right. Because we had talked about this the terrain. Oh, it was actually oh, yeah. a minus one. Uh, I, so... Uh, you still went. You I, I still did it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. So, uh, three. Five. Okay, so she's fine. She's so fine. the lightning hits the... Uh, crates there and explodes and she's like ah. <laughs> he cannot shoot next turn he has to crank the damn pistol and charge it ha. all right <laughs> ha that is it that's it no no, no melee. melee nobody's in melee. melee all right so this turn ends we so this is now turn five uh turn four has just ended with me and now we are beginning turn five let's do initiative for turn five we're going to summarize this turn a little bit and seven Three. You go. plus two, I go. So I take initiative first. Mm -hmm. Now going to my movement. And then we'll, we will summarize this turn a little bit. Uh, movement phase is over. So my guy moved over here, but he moved his full six inches. He gets minus four if he shoots. My Capitan charged her Soraya. We're going to have to wait for the melee phase. Same thing with these Jaegers. They charge the uh, nice looking Griffin. I'm um, Griffin. Uh, no. Sphinx. I'm confusing my monsters. <laughs> this guy ran so he cannot shoot or do anything else. He's just there like, yay, I'm 
gonna shoot somebody eventually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now let's go to my shooting phase. Now, let's see. Can I shoot your little cultist even with the big penalties? Yeah, no, he's blocked. If I look here, he's pretty blocked. I mean, yeah, that's a long shot. No, he's not going to do it. That dune protects you. You're lucky. Hmm. Um, okay, and this guy can't shoot. No shooting phase. Go straight to melee. Wow, okay. Melee. melee. Let's start with melee. Capitan against Soraya. Right. Soraya the Brave is fighting with Capitan. Oh, you have poison, don't you? I oh, do. you little... I oh, have you do have poison. Mm -hmm. Crap. All right, so fighting value is plus three. Um, and that is it. All right, so plus five for Capitan. Plus five. What is your armor? Nine. Nine. Four plus five. Nine. 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 Oh. oh, however, that is equal to your armor. Right. So you just knock down. Oh, right, right, right. That's right. Okay. Okay. Right. What's next? Oh. You roll your pluck, though, no. still. No? Only roll the pluck if, if you're... Oh, uh, you're right. You're right. Only if it's... If it, if it hits you. That's right. So the figure is knocked down. Okay, sure. thank you. All right, very good. So she is knocked down. Uh, that was my melee. Let's do this melee. I get a plus one because of the friend. And so Jager... His fight value 2 plus 1 is 3. And let's see what Bayonet Drill does. Okay, so my Jaeger uh, gets, let's see, uh, plus 3 for his Bayonet, uh, plus 2 for his uh, fight value, that's 5, and plus 1 because he has a buddy, so that is plus 6. Jeez. 6! Six. Wow. That 12. Works. That works. Okay, so, so my pluck is three. You just said something about getting minus one. Yeah, you get a minus one to the roll because of the bayonet. All right, and I get a plus two because I'm tough, so I get a Correct. plus one mm -hmm. to the roll. Mm -hmm. And I need a three. Mm -hmm. Wait, no, no I don't. I need a five. So I actually need a four. A four. Correct. Yes. Five. And you got it. Yep. God damn the <laughs> bat. Boop, bow. Put the bow. All right. All right. All right, well, that ends my melee phase, and I did absolutely nothing except maybe knock down her Soraya. Uh -huh. All right, Julie, it is your movement phase. Hey. What is it? A 10! So she gets back up. Yep. And then she's going to be ready to fight in the melee phase. Right. Okay, so that's okay. her. Now, um, I do. All right, and this one I'm going to move. Um, this one doesn't have a, a ranged weapon, right? Uh, a club. She has a club. That's not ranged. Though. Nope. All right, so I'm going to move her. So she can run if she wants because she doesn't really have to shoot. Yeah. Now, if she runs, I get a minus she three. She doesn't need to run, though. Okay. So she's just going to go right here. Okay. Then, that was like six inches, right? Yes. Okay. Um, not that it matters because I'm not going to shoot that way. That one, I'm going to go. It's not quite six inches, but I'm going to take this one up here. Okay. Wait, that one can shoot. No. Nope. Oh. He's a melee. Okay. So he's good. Um, now these guys. He has the pigeon. Right. So I'm going to take him this way. He's going to run out. Yep. Oh, he's out of the board out with the, the board pigeon. With the pigeon. Okay, so then um, this one I'm going to move just uh, two inches. Two inches, okay. So no penalty for him. Right. And But he did uh, run last turn, so if you shoot him, okay. uh, you get a minus three oh, because he ran. Okay. And then this one, um, I'm going to leave him where he is. Oh, okay. God damn. Okay. All right, so that was your movement phase. Now your shooting phase. Do you want to shoot with that guy? Can I... Do I add him in sight? Uh, let's see. So. Yeah, that might be a long shot. Okay, yeah. I mean, you can see, like, the tip of his helmet. <laughs> yeah, all right. So no go. Uh, all right, we'll call it.
So we are in combat right now. I'm in combat with two of our figures. Now my armor is... Let's see. Capitan. Oh, he is wearing a breastplate armor 12. Oh my god. He is wearing a breastplate. SRC uh, breastplate, which is armor 12. So he's a... Wow. Oh, you know what? I don't know. I didn't run with him last time, but he cannot run. Because he's wearing heavy armor, so oh. I gotta remember that he can only move six inches. Okay. All right, so it's plus three to the roll. Mm-hmm. And I need a what was it? A twelve? A plus four. Plus four to the a roll. Plus four, but I need a twelve. Correct. That's completely impossible. Yeah, two plus no. Uh, then this guy can try. Oh, and you get the same thing, but with his bonuses. His bonuses, and he's a cultist. I guess it did work. Oh, okay, so you got a 10 on that one. Yeah. Um, okay, so, damn. Um, now, does he have any minuses on pluck for the Kopash? Weapons give you minuses on your pluck roll. Okay. So, uh... It says minus one, but that says five plus. Okay, so I get a minus one to my pluck roll. Okay. And my pluck is a three plus minus one to the roll. I got a ten. Oh All right, his God. armor blocks it. Okay, so I that's the end of that melee. Yep. Now let's go to your sphinxy sphinx. What is her fight value? Oh, that's right. I can split it. You can it. split it, yeah. Uh, her fight value is three. So she can do two to one and one to the other, and however you want to split. one fight value because of the clubs. Yes. So it's actually plus four. So you can do two and two. You can right. divide your pluses if you want. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, so plus two to one, fight value. And uh, what's your armor? Uh, their armor is only eight. Plus two, yeah, because you're splitting your fight right, value right, between right. both. Three plus two is five. Nope. And I'll do the other one. Mm-hmm. Uh, nine plus two is eleven. That one. Works. That one hit. Okay, so you could choose whichever one you want to do. This one, whichever one you want. This one was. Okay, one. so uh, now she has clubs. I I don't know if that gives me a minus. Uh, club is no, no minus or plus okay. to the pluck. Okay, so I just rolled a straight pluck, which is pluck 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 <laughs> five plus. <laughs> a five! Oh, shit! Oh, he stands to fight another day. You can disengage with them, too, if you want to in this okay. game. You can right. disengage. All right, so I think that's the end of the phase. Yeah. No more. Oh, but I'm struggling to get... Tre I mean, I'm struggling because it is now turn six. Yeah. Okay, and uh, I don't have any treasures. Julie has all the treasures. But I haven't killed any of your guys yet, and you've killed one of mine. Let's do... Oh, right, so I get... Yeah, but you get... I, yeah, you're going to kill me in the points. <laughs> I, I only know. killed one guy. All know. right, let's do one more turn. Uh, turn six, and we'll see how Julie is feeling, if she wants to give me another turn after that. Otherwise, we'll end it there, and... Well... The same result that you guys always get, Julie will be the winner. All right, let's do it. Turn six. And seven. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Final two turns. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't quite. A five that for wasn't me. Quite what I had in mind. All right. <laughs> As dice Sweet. get flung around. Four. Okay, you win. Four. No, I had a three. Oh. Five. Oh, so I you have had a, a six. six. I win. So yeah, uh, that's uh -oh. not that's not going to be good for me. That does All right, not go ahead. Well for you. No, because my chance to shoot Did, things I down. Didn't... He's fine. I, he fell. But not really, right? Like. Yeah, he's like right here. He was right on the uh, corner. Uh, so your movement move. phase. All right, give me a second to figure. All out. righty, Julie's thinking her. Head is smoking. Yeah, sure is. Julie's cultist is moving, and uh, one of her cultists has moved into hand to hand with that figure as well. So she has a nice little posse this there. This is you, right? Yes. All right. So if I go six, I can get there, can't yes, I? Yes, you can. Yes. 
Yes, she can do six so inches, there. which is a full move right into base to base. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh, and yeah, she kills the, oh the Sphinx. Okay, so that one's moved into melee. Okay, yes. and what about your figures right um, here as I knock down the terrain? Boy, we're both. <laughs> I know. Can I go two inches up here? Yes, you may. All right, so I'm going to do there. Okay, two inches, okay. And then I'm going to go... Oh, she can shoot next turn. Exactly. Without penalty. All right. And I'm going to do another... I'm going to do two inches on this one, too. And oh, so... Oh, so good move. Good yeah. move. Yeah, I'm in, ter I'm in a trench, so I do get cover yeah. for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But still, all right, so that's probably the only penalty you'll get is the fact that I'm in a trench. In trench cover. Okay. It's a little different the way they deal with terrain in this game. Okay, so go ahead. We now go to the shooting phase. Uh, everybody's moved. Shooting phase. Uh, go ahead. You can do your shooting right, for those so two figures. So let's take the first one. Um, plus two for the shoot. So that's four. Minus two for the shoot. It's eight. plus two then. So it's plus two. Mm -hmm. you got to pass armor eight. Okay. Does he have anything else that benefits him? Uh, he has tough. He has tough, but that doesn't benefit him right now. Right. Okay. All right. So it's plus two. Seven uh, plus seven. two is an eight. Nine. 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 So, uh, so it does hit, and yes. we're talking about this dude there. Yeah. Uh, does that weapon should have a, a pluck minus for me? It doesn't say that it does. Okay. Um, shotgun is. I, I gotta remember to always check this. Shotgun is pluck modifier minus one for me. Oh, I rolled a one, which oh. is a failure. <laughs> yeah. So this guy's out and he becomes a tall uh -oh. trooping. He's like raising his hands. I give up, I give up. He is now a zombie. Oh, so now the other guy's gonna shoot the zombie. Good for you. Ah! All right, so that's... Big cat on the floor. <laughs> yeah. So, um... And next is the cultist with a pistol. Straight roll because of the minus two. Because a zombie is a zombie. A one! Yeah! yeah. yeah that's a one, all right. All yeah. right, he failed. And he's like... Eh. Okay. So, uh, those two uh, did not do much. But now we go on well, to melee. That's true. I killed one and made it a zombie. <laughs> I'm trying to, you know, Can elevate. You make yourself feel better? Yes, oh. yes, my morale. <laughs> Sorry, morale. My morale. <laughs> All right. So uh, now let's go to melee. Which melee do you want to do first? Oh this goodness. mess or this we'll mess? This mess first. We'll do this mess first. Really enough in melee, you only get a plus one no matter how many figures right. are around. That's that's the rules. Right. Okay. Blah blah. blah plus blah. one. Sphinx. Let's do your Sphinx. Fight value. She has hands as clubs. She's gonna be. Attacking one of those this guys. This one. I okay. Think. Very good. Alright, so Sphinxy. Sphinxy. Um, we've got a plus one fighting value because of his club like hand. That's right, so plus one for the club. And what's her <laughs> fight value? Three. So that's plus four. And plus one for the buddy. That's plus five. Plus five. God damn it. And what's your armor? My armor is only eight. Seven plus five is twelve. Twelve! Dun, 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 Now, I get minus one because of the club. No, no, no. I get no minus to the pluck. That's right. Okay. So, straight pluck. Pluck, 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 pluck. Pluck, pluck, pluck. A five plus. A one! A one! No! Todd Troopin. Bloop. Todd Troopin. Yeah, but see, I Zombie! Twice. Zombie! <laughs> okay, so now next one. Next one is this guy. That one. So well, same, that okay. Guy. Now she's a cultist, she has yes. a club, so plus one she's for the, the club. The clubby one. The clubby one. Let's I turn her plus around. All. So. Oh, plus, plus the Sphinx, I get for eight. For the buddy. So that's three. So she gets a plus three. To hit my guy, my and Jager. Your armor eight. And I said plus three, right? Mm -hmm. God, my my mind just goes blank. Uh, nine. Nine. <laughs> God damn it! Straight pluck. Straight pluck. Seven. You did it. No. Right. What's your pluck? Oh yeah, five plus. Yeah, yeah, he's okay. All right, now 
we got zombies on the board, so they are now terrifying. He's terrifying. Um, so I've got to do a pluck roll. You got to do pluck roll with with the Sphinxy. No, yes. Sphinx though. I remember she was immune because she's fearless. Yes, yes, Sphinx so is fearless. Sphinx yes. does not give a shit about the zombie. <laughs> That's right. And this woman, the cultist, the cultist is That's not in base to base contact with zombie though. So when she gets to base to base oh, contact, oh, oh, oh. then she okay. will have to roll a pluck right. and see if she fight. right. Okay, you got it. All right, so now over here. Now with this mess, um, I'm going to start with with Soraya. Yeah, I can kind of see why don't they give why they don't give a plus one for each fight mm -hmm. because you have three chances here. Each of these guys each is going to get to get with the exactly. shooting only one shoots right makes yeah. total sense. So it now. does make sense. Yes, why does. they only add plus one. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. So Soraya. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see here. Three for the fight value. Mm -hmm. Plus one for the buddy, even though there's more than one buddy. Yeah, that's fine. That's four. That's four. And your armor is, uh, what? You've What's her weapon? Her weapon is a poisonous knife. Right. So I think that's another plus one. Okay. So that's plus five. Five. Plus five. And My armor for Capitan is 12. Right. You're okay, going to so need plus it. Plus five. Yeah, I know. Seven plus five is 12. Ah! Ah! Okay. So... My pluck is three. However, you have poison, which gives me minus two Ooh. to the roll. Okay. So you need a five. Ooh. At least. Ooh. Oh, six. fucking oh, six. Wow. Oh, what a lucky oh, Capitan. But now you get to do it. Well, now you don't have poison, but you get to do it. Right, two more. So yeah. These two are cultists as well. Correct. This one is, has the, the pistol. pistol. So but he know? also has like a, a knife. Four. Nope. You could change your dice too. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right. Hey, so no luck. no luck there. Um. Okay. I'm okay. All right. <laughs> All right. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> Movement phase. Now these guys will have to roll terror. Uh. When I. Yeah. Go into base to base contact with them. I don't have a lot of space here though. Hmm. Where is zombie going to go? So that's two, three inches. Let's see. Oh wait, two. Two is four and five. Ah! Okay, you gotta roll a pluck roll. You gotta roll a plucky pluck. Pluck that man. Um, <laughs> I am gonna change my dice. Let's see. If this mm -hmm. is worse, I'm going to be mad. <laughs> yeah. He's using right. his terrifying so demeanor. That one is my... That's, that's my, a cultist. That's my cultist. Correct. That's my Nubian guard. Correct. Okay. So my cultist with the uh, pistol? Correct. Okay. So she's... Her clock is six. Mm -mm -mm. That... Freaking sucks. All right, here we go. Are you ready? Mm hmm. Eight. God damn, she stands her ground. Woo! All right, um, and I'm not in base to base with the Nubian, so he's fine until he decides to attack me. Okay, so that's that's Zombie. Zombie here is staying put. These guys are staying put. I'm going to try to disengage. Let me roll a pluck. Ah, I gotta roll a pluck for. Oh man, it's minus three, I think, because of each figure. Hold on. I have a wingless sphinx on the table, just uh, sitting there watching over Julie's uh, cards and stuff. Oh, Simone. You got my magic, my magic weapon. So pluck roll minus one for each figure it is engaged with. So minus three. For the plucky, and the pluck is three, she minus three to the roll. Ah! Oh! Now he gets to shoot in the shooting phase. However, he does have a minus because he's moving a full move, so he would have like a minus four. So he is gonna disengage and go here. You're like, no. Ah! 
and he is within six inches so he can fire the arc pistol but he's gonna have a minus four did you fire it last time and i fired it like two turns okay, ago so yeah i never I like it should be charged okay now that's my capitan let's get uh this dude he's like slowly <laughs> da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. all right he can shoot this turn but he's gonna have a minus four we're gonna keep the minus four with him because he moved the full move And then these guys are staying put. All right, that's the end of my movement. Okay. Let's go to shooting. Let's do him first with a minus four. He disengages and he can't move into combat with other figures, but he can shoot. So he is going to shoot. So I'm going to shoot your leader, Soraya. Okay. So armor seven. Why are you? Oh, okay, that's right. I remember. Oh! Total failure. Oh. Negative two. <laughs> oh, that's a problem. So that's a total failure. And now let's do our big machine gun guy here. Uh, he's going to fire at the closest cultist. Okay, so shooting cultist with the machine gun plus five uh, shoot value. And then they get minus two to their plucky pluck. Six plus five is 11. Is yeah. 11. So I definitely do get your armor. Can I get minus what, two? Yeah. Now, what was your armor? It's not equal to your armor, right? It's past your armor. My armor's uh, an eight. Okay, so it's greater than your armor. So, yeah, you need a plus. Because if I rolled it equal to your yeah, armor, I'd, you'll I'd be, be knocked, knocked down. down. Yeah. But I, my pluck is six, and then... Minus two pluck pluck. Because it's a machine gun that's mm -hmm. shooting. Two. Curse splat. <laughs> yeah, but look how many you killed of mine. <laughs> I only got one of measly little cultists. Yeah, but I've got to kill yours twice because yours turn into zombies after I kill them the first time. They are cool, those Prussians. That's, they are that's cool. really cool. All right. Uh, okay, so now uh, let's just go into melee and let's do Todd Trubin. I love that name, Todd Trubin, <laughs> instead of just zombie. It's Todd Trubin. <laughs> And you gotta say it like that. Of course you do. <laughs> As if you have a really <laughs> <laughs> Todd Troopin. Uh, so fight is plus three. Uh, they are terrifying. Uh, you're immune to that. So oh, forget you. They have anti venom. Hands equals to clubs. So that's plus four. So you're going after my sphinx, I think. Correct. Because that's the only one I can go after. All right. Three plus four. Is seven and my armor is ten. No, I don't do it. No, 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 no. no. My Jaeger is gonna attack Not you laser. with the uh bayonet. Okay. So, uh, he that has one's, that one's my club. Yes, uh, fight value of plus two. However, with the van bayonet and the training is plus three. And minus one pluck to you. So plus three. <laughs> so plus three and fight of two. Fuck you, man. <laughs> is plus five. <laughs> so plus five because of my bayonet drill. And you're going to get a pluck plus button. That, 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 and that, uh, whatever. Whoa! No. That would be a. That would be big fat no. Oh, pluck you. Oh, that's right. <laughs> pluck you too. <laughs> All right, we're going to end it here. I know we were laughing a lot, but Julie has been in a lot of pain. And Julie just shut off the lights. That's okay, Julie. No problem. Let's do the gentleman and gentlewoman's shake as the rules uh, tell us to do. We, we need to be very gentlemanly in this game. All right, well, Julie definitely wins because uh, I only get a plus uh, two for that. Yeah, right. because that's a regular cultist, not a leader. And then how many how many treasure tokens you got? I, I you got all of them. All of them. <laughs> Holy shit. And the, and the pigeons. And the pigeons. Oh, my God. I That's like plus ten each. So that's 30 plus the pigeon is another 10. So that's 40. That was a massacre. And then you killed two guys. Yeah, that, that was a total massacre. 
<laughs> you guys get the point. And but but Simon is not impressed. <laughs> Take a look yeah. at it, like the front. Yeah, front Simon's face. totally He's not impressed. Not impressed. <laughs> He's like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> All right, all right, Julie. Well, uh, what did you think of the game of gods? No, I'm not of gods and mortals. Stop it, MJ. Uh, in her Majesty's name. In her Majesty's name. I'm so confused. I'm um, sorry. I like it. I I have mixed feelings about it, though, if I'm gonna be honest. But uh -huh. I think I just have to get used to it, maybe. Mm -hmm. And um, what are those mixed feelings? Well, I I'm not really a, I, I'm not completely sold on the mechanics of moving at all like doing mm -hmm. the movement the, the way that is right right right. i'm just not used to it though so i don't know if that's it mm -hmm. but um i didn't i didn't really like it a whole lot uh the one thing uh that i really like first of all it's a very simple game yes i really like that uh the other thing is also we have to remember that we are playing with very raw uh, we only upgraded them a little bit. Now mm -hmm. we're going to have the chance to upgrade the figures more. Mm -hmm. um, so you do get to customize and make up your own figures. Oh. As well, like the Sphinx. That's what we did with the Sphinx. Mm -hmm. We made up right. our own. Um, and I think the movement, um, it, yeah, the strategy here is you want to be very careful with your movement yeah, because you it is going to incur a penalty. Yes. You're a ranged person yes which i think for you since you like the range stuff yeah it's a little harder for you mm -hmm. uh, because you really have to think about where things moved and, and all that stuff right. you know because yeah. you do get a lot of penalties but it is a fun game and i like the whole idea of the pluck rolls and yes and the pluck is just awesome yeah, yeah. and yeah. and weapons also give you a lot of benefits true in this game and that's different that's definitely yeah different. so yeah i think that the more i play it probably the more i'm gonna like it. right i think that whole penalty thing with the shooting mm -hmm. is because you get a lot of benefits with weapons and all that other stuff mm -hmm. and i think those movement penalties balance things out mm -hmm. so sense. that you're not getting so many because you know you you get so many benefits with your weapon with your right. shoot value and all that, that the movement penalty does kind of balance things. Yeah, I agree bit, with that. You know. But all right, well, well let's see. Uh, if you guys want to see more of this game, there's more to explore. Yeah, let us know. Drop it in the comments if you enjoyed it. Want yeah. More, please tell us. Uh, these are the Servants of Ra, which are uh, very melee oriented. Uh -huh. uh, maybe you try another faction, yeah, like the dragons. Yeah, else that might not be. Yeah, the really Asian like gangs. I really like the Sphinx, though. Yes. I like that. Yeah. I liked him a lot. He was yeah, definitely. Though. All right. So we may have some scratch builds for this game. And Yay. guys, thank you very much. I'm sorry this video came so late. Yes. Uh, but Julie has had a couple of rough days yeah. with her pain. So we're going to end it here. And at least we get a taste of this game. So more in the future. All right. Okay. Have a great one. Yes. Take care, everybody. I don't like you, Soraya. <laughs>